Hello there guys, it's LazyBeast here, it's been a while, but today we're going to talk about the new Winterpelt Furbolg faction, and specifically the quickest way to get this done. Now these guys are very reminiscent of the Timberball Hold faction that you may have done back in vanilla, it's a similar sort of way to get rep with them, so we'll go through how to unlock them, how to get rep with them, and the fastest way to get this done. It shouldn't take you more than a few hours if you're in a focus group. Now you may be able to tell from my voice I'm a little bit under the weather at the minute, but I hope you don't mind. Anyway with that said, let's get on with the video. So to be able to get rep with these guys and unlock them as a faction, what you need to do is complete two quest lines in Azure Span. They've been available since the start of the expansion, so you've probably already done these if you completed the quests in the zones. One quest line is from a mob called Son of a Snowden at 65.15 if you've got coordinates off of that. And the other NPC's quest that you need to do is a guy called Gaz at 63.58. If you've already done the quest and achievement in the Azure Span, for the lore master bit you'll have already done these quests easy without a shadow of a doubt and after doing these two quests you should be at 2050 out of 3000 unfriendly reputation with the winter belt furbolg so when patch 10.0.7 goes live when you log in you'll get a letter in your mailbox from son of a snowden inviting you to go back to the azure span and start doing some quests to unlock the reputation with these guys what you can also do if you don't want to go to the mailbox if you're out and about or if you're already in the azure span ready to go is just open your adventure guide and accept the quest from there once you go to him complete the few quests and there is only a few it shouldn't take any more than 10 minutes and what you'll notice is once you've done these you, well you will already you'll have a reputation bar with them but also you get a new skill in your languages section of your spell book when you press p you can go and look at that and this is what you need to get to 100 in order to complete the rep grind so basically the way to grind rep with this faction is to grind primalist mobs in the azure span i did go and check if primalist mobs in any of the other zones worked because this is going to be quite highly contested at the start and it seems that any primalist mobs in the other zones don't drop the rep items for these guys which does make sense because obviously they're not around the winterbelt furbolg so all of your mob grinding needs to be done in the azure span meaning that the competition is going to be pretty tight in the first week or two of this being active so you may want to move spots if the best spot is too heavily farmed so the items that you're looking for are two different ones the first one and the most common one to get is the liberated furbolg artifacts now more of these do drop off elites and even more from rares so you want to make sure that you're killing as many rares as possible and focus on the elites when the rares are not active second item that you want which is a bit more valuable is the intact scribe stick now these drop a lot less often again more likely from elites and even more likely from rares so what you do with these is you take them back to son of a snowden for every five liberated furbolg artifacts you turn in you will gain one language point and for every intact scribe stick you turn in you gain one language point so as you can see basically just farming in any area where elites are around and where primalist rares also spawn is going to be the way to go here so in total you'll need 600 liberated artifacts but with some added drops of intact scribe sticks which give you five each you may only need around 500 artifacts give or take some depending on how many of the other item you get the scribe sticks okay so where's the fastest spot where's the best place to grind the best spot will without a doubt be imbu now this is just next to camp nowhere on the map there's loads of elites in this area and there's about four different rares which can spawn and each rare drops enough of the items to give you around two to three language points just by themselves so the rares are a very high kill priority the second best place if imbu is too heavily farmed is the fiery area just below vakthros i'm not sure about rares here but it does have quite a lot of elites patrolling around there's not as many mobs as there are in imbu so your efficiency will be a little bit less but if imbu is too heavily farmed then at least you have got a second option to go to there if you wanted to do this solo in like a really chill fashion and in somewhere where there's probably not going to be that much competition you could also try a rust pine den if the other two areas are very busy and not like i say if you want to do this solo but the only downside of this is there are no elites that i'm aware of so again your efficiency will be quite a lot less there is also shiver web veil where these can drop but i wouldn't recommend this area it's full of spiders that don't drop the items and the actual primeless mobs that you'll need are quite spread out or they're patrolling around so it's very inefficient so without a shadow of a doubt, the absolute fastest way to get this rep to max would be to get a group and farm mobs in Imbu or Vakthros. This probably will work in a raid setting, seeing as it's not a quest, so just check that, and if you don't drop in a raid, then just get a group of 5 people and farm the elites and the rares. So, for every 25 language points you gain, you'll unlock a couple more quests, which you should do as you unlock them. These will then give you a reward for completing them, so you get to the next rank of reputation as well when you hand this in. So, friendly, you get an I-Level 392 totem. For honoured, you get a toy that lets you wear some reading glasses, which kind of just blur your vision, which is a bit weird. For revered, you get another item level 395 trinket that can summon a furbolg ally to help you in combat. And then for exalted, this is the real reason why we're here. It's the toy, 
Primal Stave of Fur and Claw, which is basically the Dragonflight version of the Stave of Fur and Claw that came all the way back in vanilla. So this lets you turn into a Winterfell Fur Bog for 5 minutes with a 60 day cooldown. I'm just kidding, it's a 10 minute cooldown, but Blizzard, come on, what's the need to have you not be able to use this for 5 minutes? It's just a bit of fun, I don't understand, but anyway, never mind. So there's quite a few more rewards from the Quartermaster Kazi found just here in the Winterbelt Hollow area, such as a battle pet, uh, some food basket transmogs which you may enjoy, and plenty of other like things like Drake Watcher customizations for your dragon riding mounts, things like that. All in all, it's well worth spending a few hours of, of time doing this for all the rewards, and you may even be able to use language skill to speak to other players and Furbolg, which hasn't been confirmed yet, but it would be pretty cool if that's what happened, and that's what the wording of the achievement for getting this Reptor Max does suggest, so you never know. If you uncover any other tip to farm in this rep and you want to share that with everyone else below, then please do comment below and let me know. If you've liked the video, then please do consider leaving a like on it and subscribing to the channel for more guides like this. I've been LazyBeastGuys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.